guys, when I first saw the, uh, the the pilot episode of this, I was immediately hooked from the very first frame. And it just gets better and better with this show. It is amazing. Now, real quick, can you both tell me a little bit about your characters and who you play? And we'll start with you, Melody. Huh? Uh, if you could tell me a little bit about the character you play, about your character. Gracie Jean is fierce and more like her mom than her dad. She mm -hmm. loves to have fun and she's most definitely a fun person, but and very, very strong. So she's really like her mom. Yeah. And Shahadi, tell me a little bit about the lovely Ruby. Yes, uh, Ruby Lee Emery. She is a very intelligent person um, and she's very intuitive as well, just like her little sister. I feel like she she's most definitely a protector when it comes to um, Gracie Jean because she has endured a lot of the generational trauma that her parents have experienced and that's affected her a lot. So I think that she really tries to protect her sister in ways that nobody else can, you know, and I love their relationship together. I think that's probably my favorite part about the two of them. I couldn't agree more. Now, uh, your, your home, your, your household should be one of the safest place uh, that you have, but there is no peace for your guys' family at all. But Melody, can you talk to me a little bit about Miss Vera without uh, giving me too many details? Because uh, I don't want to get in that spoiler territory. But can you talk to me about Miss Vera and talk to me about that bone chilling uh, song and dance scene that you had in, uh, in that first episode? Um, first um, of all, racism definitely caused all of this to happen because right when we moved to Compton and everybody started to make all this stuff happen and then when I came and then right when Ms. Bear came, it starts to get really, really bad. Right. And Ms. Vera was always a scary person. She always wanted something bad to happen. She, she was very strong like me, so she always had the magic to happen. Right. Yeah, magic. <laughs> uh, absolutely. Now, Shahadi, that classroom scene that you guys had, like as a viewer, that got my blood boiling. I guess that, that you know, that's what TV does, but. It's a, it, that was extremely intense, that school scene there. Uh, and Ruby is sent to the principal office and meets Doris. Um, I don't want to give too much away about Doris, but what can you tell me about Doris and uh, about that relationship there? Kind yeah. Of. Um, I would say that Doris is probably everything that Ruby wants to be. And especially with her being a teenager and her uh, being in high school and being the only black girl in her high school, um, it's really, really tough for her, you know? And she, I, I understand the, um, the wanting to fit in that feeling that she always had those emotions that she had hers were most definitely magnified um probably like a hundred times but um <laughs> i completely i completely understand where little marvin's vision was coming from with now, uh, one of the other uh, interesting things about this it also explores uh the mental trauma that's taken with the, fa the father and mother uh, in the story, uh, exactly. Lucky, Lucky and Henry. Uh, can you talk to me about how both of your characters, because both of your characters view what your mother is going through very differently. So mm -hmm. can you guys talk to me about uh, how, you guys, how that's explored in the show? Yeah. Uh, we'll start with you, Shadi. Okay. Uh, well, most definitely, Ruby has always been way more like her father than her mother. And I feel like her her and her father have a different relationship than um, her and Lucky, um, which I really, really like. And Ashley and I got to play with that throughout the entire, throughout the entire show. Um, but I feel like when it came to specifically Henry's trauma, Ruby could see him changing, see him growing distant, could see his whole personality changing. Um, and that was really hard for her, you know? Um, and all of that was kind of, she was taking that stress in on herself, even when she was, um, you know, Gracie Jean's uh, age. So yeah. that, that part was um, most definitely difficult to really showcase. And I feel like she has this resentment with her mother sometimes when it comes to that. Um, but I feel like there is a, a part of, there's a part in her where she really, really is trying, you know, right. to, to help her parents as well, not just herself. 
Well, look, you guys are doing, you did a tremendous stop, job in this show. I can't wait to see more of it. Amazing job, guys. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. 